Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Unless you are working with a table that is simply being used for document layout, you should probably not delete individual cells in a table. When a table is used for data storage and organization, the layout of information in the structure of whole columns and rows is critical to the functionality of the table. If you literally remove a cell from a table, Word will need to shift the adjacent cells in order to fill in the gap that is created in the table. This often causes data to shift from one column to another, or from one row to another where it doesn't belong. This defeats the purpose of using the table for data storage. When dealing with structured tables, you can delete entire rows or entire columns if the information is no longer needed, but it is generally not advisable to delete only a cell or two from a table. However, you may need to delete only a cell or two from a layout table. Now in this case, just select the cell or cells that you want to delete first. Then click the Delete button that appears in the Rows and Columns group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. From the drop-down menu, select the Delete Cells command in order to open the Delete Cells dialog box. In this dialog box, you must choose what to delete. If you are simply deleting the selected cells, you will need to select either the Shift Cells Left or Shift Cells Up command to move the cells that are adjacent to the selected cells, either to the left or up, in order to fill in the gap that will be created. Note that you can also choose the Delete Entire Row or Delete Entire Column choice in order to delete the entire column or row that contains the selected cells. Note that these commands, if selected, will function the same way as choosing the Delete Columns or Delete Row commands from the Delete Buttons drop-down menu. Therefore, these choices are safe choices for removing entire columns or rows from a structured table too. It's just a different way of performing the same task. So once you've made your selection, just click the OK button to perform the selected action. You may also need to delete an entire table from a document. To delete an entire table, click into any cell within the table, then click the Delete button in the Rows and Columns group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. From the drop-down menu, select the Delete Table command in order to immediately delete the entire table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.